Hello everyone and welcome if you're new, welcome back if you are returning. Uh, my name is Lindy and this is Much Love Tarot. Hi everyone, welcome. Um, here on the channel I post in-depth pick a card style readings for you guys. Today we're going to do one as well. Some of you guys might also be interested in go checking out my TikTok account as well. I go live there every day except for Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And during those lives I do, uh, among other things, also free little mini readings for you guys. So if you want to check that out, there is a link tree link, tree link in the description down below. Go check that out. Uh, there you'll find my TikTok, my Instagram. Uh, for anyone that feels generous and would like to donate to the channel, there you'll also find my PayPal donations as well as my Amazon wishlist. If you would like to contribute a deck, an oracle or tarot deck to the channel, uh, you can send me one through that link as well. Also, you can also book private readings with me. If you're interested uh, in booking one, my email address is in the description box below as well. Send me an email. I will get back to you with all the information that you need to know about how this works and how it will occur and how, you know, all that good stuff. So send me an email. I will get back to you on that. Um, I want to get a not really trigger warning out, but like an, a warning out for everyone. Uh, there have been going around uh, fake accounts of me and then approaching you guys offering free readings or whatnot or anything uh, like even just a talk. Know that I will never under any circumstance reach out to you guys first for anything. So just be aware of that. If you would like to book a private reading with me, send me an email and that's how you can get in touch with me. Uh, but I will never on any platform contact you guys first for anything. So be aware of that as well. Um, here today we're going to be looking at the month of September. What is going to come into your life this September? What can you expect? Um, we are ending the month of August on a full moon so i feel like the start of september is gonna be like a lot of big energy so i kind of want to take a look for it um so to start off i wanted to get one of these cards that you can pick from um first so this is the deck i have a lot of questions of people like how did you start the tarot and this deck is how i started so it's a dutch deck um uh, it's uh, Gypsy, Gypsy's um, Predictions. It's the English uh, translation to the book. And it's a card with, like, it's a book with explanations and whatnot. And these little cards here, they're not that many. I think they're like 30, 32. Yeah, 32 cards in this deck. But that's how I started with the tarot. I was interested. I checked it out. And after that, I moved on to a full on um, tarot deck. But yeah, I wanted to use this again, this cute little uh, gypsy de deck with like little gypsy wagons on it. And it's super cute. I love it. But I thought it would be fun to use this one for the pick a card um, section of this reading. So let's just take a look for pile number one. One card for the month of September. What can pile number one expect in the month of September? For pile number one, what can they expect in the month of September? Okay, let's see. We have got number 16 with this plant. Is it lilies? Three lilies. For pile number one. Let's see. For pile number two, what can they expect? see we have number 13 with this woman reading a letter let's see and for pile number three pile number three what can they expect in the month of september pile number three what can pile number three expect in the month of september Oh, we have two. Okay. <laughs> I feel like pile three has a lot of where two comes out. But the first card that we have is the number 10 with these children playing in the sand. 
and on the tree as well as number 22 with this anchor boat this person like waving off the both boat maybe even um so yeah i'm just gonna use both of those why not why the hell not so yes if you need some time to figure out which pile belongs to you then pause the video here and otherwise i will see you in your pile hi pile number one so if you chose card number 16 with the three lilies then this is going to be your rating today so what can you expect in the month of september so the lilies represent to me um uh, not just death and life and death but also like that's heavy like it means death no it's like the balance between life and death as well as your own spirituality um so i feel like this month your spirituality is on a good level where i feel like it might even be a good idea to start meditating again or really go deep into meditation um if you do that regularly uh, especially at the beginning with like the full moon energy and whatnot i think it, this month will give you some time to think about life and death um the wisdom of the gypsies on this is that um life and death are not too different are not like they are connected it just looks like they're not like they're different things but they're very much connected the two um so yeah, spirituality, I always kind of reminds me as well as past, present, future, um, previous life, this life, the next life. Um, but yeah, let's see. I feel like this month is going to be high on your spirituality for you. But let's see what the tarot has to say. So for pile number one, what can they expect? In the month of September what can we expect in the month of September for pile number one let's see did one go to the ground yes it did so let's see what we have we have the nine of ones which also seems like I don't know if they're like ghost between behind them we also have the king of cups as well as the ten of cups the queen of cups the five of pentacles and the four of cups and then at the bottom we have the moon yeah i feel like your connection to spirit and the afterlife will be a main thing here i see i feel like there might have have been someone that passed away in your life that this month you will feel like the absence of this person very strongly uh that missing that wanting them back in your life you being able to have that physical like a hug or be able to talk th to them and i feel like september will bring in a lot of energy where you can realize that you can still have that connection because i feel like like you're just having your back towards those people in the back you know they're there you don't see them but they're there you still can have that conversation i feel like in a very mature way will you realize that the king and queen of cups are here as well so for some of you, your partner will play a big role here for support or um, for those of you who are single, I feel like your like soulmate might be coming in here as well with that Ten of Cups. Um, but I feel, I honestly feel that in September, your mortality, like the fact that you can die will play a part where then it also motivates you to live to experience everything to go on adventures try new things because life is short so i'm getting a lot of different messages like i said for some of you where the someone has like passed as well i feel like with that five pentacles you'll realize that you have been chasing this thing like you know how 
some people are like i need to make more money i need to have a better car you know are it's never good enough it's always needs to be better bigger uh that desire i feel like there might be with that moon as well like you realizing like why am i doing this with my life why am i like am i getting joy out of this is this what living is i feel like that's a good question to have in mind this month for september like what is living what makes it worth living my life like am i doing the things that i like love um am i in that happy relationship is this because for some of you i feel like the focus need to be more on this connection and having that emotional fulfillment and happiness and you you realizing that you already have that and that there's nothing more much that you need in life overall yes money is nice to have but this is you cannot live happy without having this you can be happy without money but you cannot be happy without these connections that you're having with that as well like missing the people that are no longer there the role that they could have played in your life and whatnot um so i feel like your bond your connection with your own mortality will play a big role in september for like a good thing it will like it will motivate you to to like get the absolute best out of this experience while you're alive you know the things that you can do while you're alive and like i said for some of you also the realization of death isn't like this separate thing it's very much connected um and the energy of the people that passed away that you have been missing that you want to just give a hug they are still there they're just limitations to how that connection now works because there's no longer a body you know uh, and you need a body to give hugs to talk to you know um the way that we're used to so there's like a different relationship like how you connect with that um and i feel like meditation can really help with that as well if you need closure or anything along those lines um for you as well let me get some oracle cards for you guys on this as well since it is the full moon as well where we're starting off or ending the month with a full moon i wanted to get some moon wisdom as well for you on this so pile number one with the month of september what will happen what can they prepare for what do they need to keep in mind what is going on Let's see, we have a new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. So yes, like I said, it is going to have a big impact on your life. Um, the realization of this. We also have, don't let your past hold you back. Again, with that past, present and future. I feel like this will give you also, like, like I said, focus on your mortality. But also, as in, take a hard look at your past. What you have been doing why you've been doing it that way if it is something that you would like to continue uh, move on on that same track or do you want to change something why have you been doing that like don't let your past hold your back you're not the past it's like a different flower you are the present uh, and what do you want to manifest achieve let's see what else for pile number one what can they expect in the month of September? That went all the way to the other side of the room. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, that was have faith in your dreams. Like the dreams that you're having. Like we have in the Netherlands, we had this commercial. And that was such a, it hit so hard for a lot of people where, you know, if you ask children, what do you want to become when you grow up? They always say like, I don't know, firefighter or a princess or something like that. But we stop asking ourselves that question. What do we want to become when we grow up? What person do I want to be when I grow up? Like, I feel like this will trigger... I almost feel a little bit like midlife crisis, but more 
not in a crisis, but more you figuring out that like, you still have dreams that you want to pursue, things that you want to try out, uh, dreams that you have that you might think that you are now too old to, you know, do or change or whatever. But I feel like the universe is like, no, this is your life. If that's what you, you only get one life um, in the right now. There are no do-overs, you know. Will you regret not chasing your dreams? I, th I honestly feel that September is gonna be such a huge... Like, it will plant, like, the seeds of the future, September. With, like, you'll realize your mortality, that you only have one life, that, like... Live it, like, try to get as much out of life as possible. Let's see what else. One more for pile number one. We have adjustments are required. So yes, definitely. Also guys, you might hear in the background the washing machine is like centrifuging right now. So it's making a lot of noise, but that's, that's that if you're hearing something. Uh, but yes, adjustments are required. So yes, changes will be needed. Um, Follow those dreams. Trust. Expect powerful change. Don't hold back. Or... You know how we have this thing where it's like now we are too mature to have dreams, to have fantasies, to... Um, we should be mature. You know, this is it. The You know, we're set. You know, but that... I feel like this can be... I don't know. Boring or that you ask yourself like is this it you know did i now accomplished like played the game like now the the end titles can come to your life like now all you have to do is die like i feel like those questions are something that is coming in this september where you're questioning like yourself like is this really it is there nothing else that I want? Can I achieve it? I'm, am I too old to anything? And I feel like the universe is just like, no, you're not too old. Go, go, go after it. Go get it. It's one life. You only got one life. Um, and just because of your past does not mean that that is also then you're limited to your future as well. Um, so yeah, go live. Go experience. Go get what you paid for almost f with life like you got this life without ask now get that payment um with it so yeah i want to get some messages from this one as well to close it off i don't know i feel drawn as well to do the the bowl with uh, letters, but I'm just like, why? I'm not sure why I would want to do that, but I might end, end the reading with that, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I really want to buy some of those charms because I feel like that would be helpful for a situation like this. Maybe uh, in the next, anyway, that's just my mind rambling. So let me get some final um, advice guidance. What is coming for September for pile number one? What can they expect in the month of September to happen for them to focus on some advice? Let's see. Okay, already kicking off good. We have... So we have the higher self in activation. So definitely I feel like your higher self will be activated. Like I said, you will question... Is this id? Have a more strong connection with spirit, with universe, with ancestors, um, all that. We have deception and temptation. Okay, so there might be some temptations coming in. And I feel like with that moon as well, things like realizations will come in for you. Where you felt like you may might be deceiving yourself in certain situation. Um I honestly feel a strong sense of like, I am mature, I shouldn't do this because yes, I, it is something that is tempting and it's like luring me in, but I should be like, I don't know, an adult 
and not have those dreams but it's still there i feel like something is like tempting you to already you know try out dip your toe in it um because that also that desire also gives you clarity on the situation like there's something like why do you feel this drawn to whatever this uh, temptation is uh, we also have isolating and thoughts so yeah taking a time to meditate isolate yourself think about the situation are you happy the way that you are right now how your life is going right now do you want changes really reflecting I feel like it's September for you. We have closed off, guarded, and resistance. This might lead to that. You realizing like, oh, I do want to make changes. You closing off, feeling guarded. Trying to figure out what this is for you before vocalizing or talking to anyone about this. Uh, we also have fulfillment and wish. So yes, there. I feel like there is this thing in your life where like... I am missing something. I want something more for really that Ten of Cups of fulfillment coming in, feeling fulfilled. Because I feel like there is something that's like keeping you from that feeling. Like on paper, you feel like you should be fulfilled and you should be happy, but you're not quite feeling it yet. And maybe that's also frustrating where you're like, like, I should be happy. What is going on? Am I like... Is something wrong with me? Um, you know, what's going on? I should be fulfilled and happy. Um, and I feel like a realiz realization of that wish is what is coming in. Like you realizing, oh, this is what I want. Uh, and like I said, you going inwards, looking for the answers that you're looking for. We also have transformation. Yes, like I said, transforming in this new, like realizing what's going on and transforming in this new, new way of self. We also have shadow side, moon, the dark night. Again, the moon. I feel like there is a side of yourself that you have been denying, that you have put away not show anyone told yourself that wasn't truth that wasn't something real or it was just a thought it's not a desire and feel like that is kind of like you pushed it behind uh, underneath the water and it's kind of like peeking out looking at you like i'm still here you know you want me you know trying to tempt you uh in that matter and like accepting your shadow side everyone has a shadow side but no one's perfect we both have the light and the dark in ourselves and i feel like you very much for a long time denied yourself that dark side as well because like it's not a dark and a light side as in a good and a bad side your shadow side isn't necessarily a bad thing it's how you deal with your dark side that makes it a good or a bad thing um and I feel like looking into that a little bit more this month uh, is going to help you grow so much. It's going to help you transform uh, to a better version of self. And I feel like your higher self is also like, let's take, take a look at that shadow side. What is going on? Um, just have a conversation with your sh shadow side as well. Just because you listen and have that conversation with your shadow side does not mean that you're acting upon those things you're just like and then maybe that might also be why you're very closed off this month looking into this because you're scared of what is coming out when you open that door to your shadow side but it's just you having a conversation getting to know that side of yourself as well um And yeah, I feel very, like, spiritual growth for you this month happening. So I absolutely love this. Um, I do want to end with the letters. I don't know why, but I, I feel like I want to end with some letters. So normally it's, like, with a person where, like, this could be their initials. It could be a place. It reminds you of a place, the letter combinations. Um... I don't know what this is going to be, but I feel like I need to get some letters for you guys uh, for it to really quick click 
and resonate. So that is just what I'm gonna do. And I'm not, I'm like, I'm baffled. I don't know what is gonna come out of it, but anyway, uh, let's see. So for pile number one for the month of September, pile number one for the month of September. So let's see what we have. We have the M, we have the C, we have the I, we have the A, we have the K, we have the N, and we have the B as well. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just like stuck where I'm like, I'm not sure what I should say about the Leslers. Like I'm seeing Micah, I'm seeing, it can also be like McDonald's <laughs> for some of you. Um, I feel like these letters will just resonate for you uh, in any way, shape or form. And I can speculate about it, but I feel like it will resonate. So with this one, I would really like to know like what you can make of the letters if it fits for this reading for you as well if it resonates uh because i think i kind of want to leave it like that with the letters because i feel like it will fit how it fits for you and then i can talk about it but like i also see abc so like the alphabet school maybe i don't know I'm yeah I'm just gonna leave it here this is one for you to figure out and you tell me what this is about like educate me on the letters um also let me know if it resonates for you how it resonates for you I feel a very spiritual month of you discovering yourself like diving a little bit into your shadow side in your own side in your mortuality in death as well as being a part of life um and yeah just like a good spiritual month and i feel like with the full moon it's gonna kick off like hard um so yeah i am gonna leave it here for you guys please let me know how this resonates for you please let me know about the letters as well um also let me know if there is a question that you would like to see me ask next uh, and i'll see how i can fit that in into a general reading go check me out on tiktok if you haven't already uh, and in the meantime go have a kick as day uh, i believe in you i trust you you got this this month you can do this and hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading hi pal number two so if you chose card number 13 with this woman reading a letter then this is going to be your reading today so what is going to come in for you in september so first off the first thing i associated this with was with the empress for some reason but i looked into the the book and reread the the meaning of the card and this card has more to do with the letter that she uh, is getting so i feel like for some of you you might receive news this um this month um and i feel like it's not necessarily going to be bad news i think it's good news but surprising good news um the 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 book also said like news from afar so it might be someone that you haven't talked to for a long time or um a family member or any anyone that lives far apart from you um but like it's so shocking that she drops like the envelope as well um but yeah, let me see how else this entails in your month of September. So pile number two in the month of September, what can they expect this month to happen? What can they expect? So let's see, we have the page of swords. We have the eight of wands. Okay, I read the book and it like this one associated with the six and the eight of wands in the tarot deck. Um, so yes, let's see. We have the ten of wands. We have the seven of wands as well as the five of pentacles. Okay, I want to get one more to close this row off. One more for power number two. And we have the magician. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the page of pentacles. So I feel like you will get contact. Uh, someone will send you a message from someone that you had been wanting 
to hear from uh, but you kind of at the point where you're all you almost gave up you're like you know what i uh, why like i feel like you're and then like it comes at like you have been trying to manifest this message coming in and it comes at a point where you realize that the five of pentacles is at play that you just want to hear from them um just because you miss them or you feel lonely or you want to you know uh not necessarily about this person or about it's just for filling a gap you know i hope that makes sense it's not about the person it's about filling that gap um and i feel like you are at the point where you're like Ugh, i'm not gonna wait anymore this is taking so long will it ever happen um yeah i feel more so that it's gonna be more so at the end of uh the month uh, we're starting the month off with the m full moon energy so it's gonna be full emotion is like full on at the start of this month um and that can entail that ten of ones where you're like is it ever i'm waiting for so long is it worth holding on and i feel like honestly feel that you're slowly detaching a little bit from this person and then this like message come in, comes in um the, the wisdom that comes with this card, the gypsy wisdom that is attached to this card is never write a letter when you're angry or when you're full in your emotion. Um, so that's something I want to give to you as well. Be aware of your emotions, especially like I said, with the full moon going on, we're all very high in our emotion. Um, So be aware that you, like when you contact it, because like the, this is a letter, but it can also be a text message or a phone call, um, you know, like contact. Um, be aware of your own emotions as well to keep them in check that you're not reacting back to this person out of spite because you're angry because they kept you waiting, you know, uh, out of that energy. Be aware of that as well, because I feel like that is going to be on like around the corn it's like luring where it's like this might very quickly snap for you and you react out of emotion um so never write a letter when you're angry so let's see it might makes you feel a bit defensive as well where you're like is this for real can i trust you is this you know because the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords are like new starts, adventures, trying things out, manifesting. But the Page of Swords is a bit like not thinking, not like they're not thinking through before diving in. They're just like, you know, it's just like they're gonna slay a dragon, unprepared, no armor. Just like, let me just do that. Um, so be aware of that as well. Like your defensive attitude towards this person or that message or them reaching out. See it for what it is. What are they bringing in? What are they saying? Don't try to look between the lines, read between the lines. What are they actually communicating? What are they saying? What are they actually giving me? And not with emotions like, oh, I read between the lines, they're trying to hint at this or that. No, what are they concrete telling you? Because um, for some of you, I feel like it's very easy to get swept in emotion and just go with it. And for others of you, I feel that the opposite, where you get swept in the emotion and go full the offense uh, with it. Um, But let's see, for pile number two, what is coming in in the month of September for pile number two? What is coming in for September? We have the full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Exactly. Don't let your emotion, your pride uh, act or talk. Uh, you know, you feel hurt. And then they reach out and your pride is like, you know what? This person needs to hurt a little bit because I got hurt. Now they need to feel that hurt as well. Um, don't let pride get in the way of it. We also have the full moon eclipse. 
conclusions are within reach. So having like a community. Oh my god. So you have communication is key with new moon in Gemini. I was literally going to say like, so like conclusions are within reach, not let pride. So communicate, talk about it. Like, you know, you really hurt me. I don't want, like, I feel very frustrated. Communication is key here. Very much key. And also communication is the opposite of pride. Like if you communicate well, then pride has no room to talk um where if you don't have communication pride gets in the way easily so communication is key here that's kind of what i felt as well so pile number two what else can they expect uh, a time for healing as well so because i feel like this is something um, at the bottom, you have to take time to breathe out. Because I honestly feel that this has been something that has had a grip on you. Whether you like it or not. Whether you accept that or not. Or whether or not you see that or not. I feel like this has very much a big part um, in your past, I don't know, weeks, months, life. Um and this is an opportunity, this letter, this message coming in is an opportunity for you to heal, to grow um, and to move forward. So good news, like for you in the long run. And I feel like it is also something that you have been manifesting because you know that this, you cannot continue the, the way you have been doing. There has to be some type of conclusion or ending or, you know. Okay, let me get some other final messages for pile number two. For pile number two in the month of September. Okay, so we already have uh, the Ace of Fire with Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. You had Leo here as well. So that might also be uh, one of your um, signs, you or the other person coming in. Um, it can also be the Ace of Fire, which is the Ace of Wands, which is about uh, new beginnings, new start, a fresh beginning, a fresh start for you, an ending uh, as well. We also have Trust Divine Timing. Trust that this is the right time, that the, this time apart or this thing that is in between you two is something that was needed very much needed we also have doubts and lack so there might be trust issues with this person um maybe even feeling of you feel like you're not good enough the other person not good enough but or not you're not where you want it to be in life as well we also have nurture and compassion looking at yourself at the other person with nurture and compassion like i said don't let pride deal with uh, the situation we also have karma balance and justice like trust the universe as well that justice will be served that karma will come around uh it's not f for you to do the universe's work in inflicting karma you know the universe will take care of karma on its own it's not you are not the 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 executor of karma let that happen on its own try to find that balance within yourself and we also have truth and expression for some of you that it might also be a message of getting a divorce that they like finally want that divorce um but that's like for only like one or two of you um whereas then that divorce is like the catalyst of like it's good news i feel like it's good news for you to finally move on have that new fresh start completely you know being able to finally start over uh truth and expression as well the truth will come out again ego and vanity and pride i feel like the ego will play will i feel like you'll feel it this month where your ego is wanting i don't know revenge or uh, satisfaction or have that karma right now 
Um, and I feel like ego can get a little bit in the way. So keep your ego in check this month as well. Be aware of what is coming from emotion of ego and what is coming from what is best for you and the divine timing with this um, as well. So yeah, I ended um, the reading for Power One with some letters because I felt like I wanted to do letters for them. I don't know how or why or with what <laughs> reason, but I want to do them for you guys as well. Like I normally, to me, I say it resonates for like your initials or it can also be places that remind you of this person or whatnot. Like with this type of style for September, I'm like, I don't know what will resonate, how this will come out. But I honestly feel that it will resonate for you how it will without me having to figure it out for you or trying to make names or whatnot out of it. Um, but yeah, let's just, we'll just see what comes up for you guys as well for the month of September for call number two. What to expect, what is coming their way. That's it, that's it. Yeah, okay. So we have the letter K, we have the letter V, we have the H, we have the F, we have the I, we have the C, and we have the R. So like I said, it can be initials, it can be anything that resonate, resonates for you. It can just be a word. Um, okay, I'm just going to call out what I am seeing, hearing. So I'm hearing Kevin. I saw Richard as well. A farm. Family. Mm, I, I kind of want to leave it at that because I feel like I'm just, I don't know. So yeah, I, I, I think it will just resonate for you with the letters, how it does. Uh, please tell me, you tell me how this resonates, how they, these letters fit in for you uh, as well. So I am going to leave the reading here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. Uh, I hope it gave you some uh, tools to be aware of, like especially with your ego. Keep that one in check. Um, and hopefully this prepares you a little bit for that message coming in this uh, month. So yes, let me know how it resonates for you. Like I say, it's always very, I, I feel a lot of different energies here with this one. Uh, so definitely let me know because you know I always love reading about it as well. Definitely let me know about the letters, how that fits in, if it resonates for you and how it resonates. Um, also, let me know if there's anything that you would like to see me ask next. If you have a question in your mind that you would like to ha have me take a look at, leave it down below and I'll see how I can put that into a general reading for you guys. Um, and in the meantime, just go kick ass this month. You got this. I believe in you. I'm already proud of you. Um, and hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number three. So if you chose these two cards... Uh, card number 10 with the children and card number 22 with the boat and the anchor then this is going to be your reading today uh, a little disclaimer in the background you'll maybe hear the washing machine <laughs> it is uh, on full speed but I didn't have any more other time today to do the reading so that's like the background noise um, so yeah be aware it will peep during this uh reading um but yeah just be aware of that um so let's just dive into your reading today so the question was what is coming in this september for you and you have these two cards so the card number 10 reminds me of the six of cups in the tarot deck which talks about our childhood having good memories of our childhood um also with this one it's about who you are as a person right now is someone that already existed in your childhood youth. If you are to the point where you're not knowing what it is that you want from life or where you're at in life, go look back at your childhood. What is it that you liked to do as a child? Um, because children are not influenced by with what they like by out, outside sources. They, they just do. 
and uh, as adults we tend tend to think uh, and talk about it with other people more so one like outside source influence so figure out like go back to the youth and you'll find that answer you also have card number 22 with the anchor i feel like this combination is really the, the anchor is like the end of a road like you have made the the road to the island you're there they're waving goodbye like thank you i'm i'm where i wanted to be and now looking like a fresh start where are we going what are we gonna do um am i reaping the fruits of my labor uh that type of thing so i feel like it might even provoke this month a little bit of um am i happy am i good where i'm at what you know uh reflecting on the journey that you have made from childhood to where you are right now um but let's take a look at what the tarot has to say on this for you on the month of September how this will you know manifest in this coming month uh, I think I said it in the intro that we're starting off or we're ending this month with a full moon uh, which starts off the new month with a lot of emotions as well uh, so let's just see how that fits in for you guys so pile number three for the month of September what can they expect for the month of September for pile number three. Let's see what we have so far. We have the devil, we have the four of swords, we have the four of pentacles, as well as the two of wands. Yes. Okay. So I'm definitely feeling trapped energy. Um realizing is this who I am? Very closed off energy, four of swords, a need of a little bit of a break. I feel like you have done a lot in your life and now you've reached a point. Where it's like, I, like, when you look back, this is what I wanted. I'm here, but feeling trapped, feeling not that happy, maybe. Maybe looking to go on another, because there are also boats here. Maybe looking into another trip, a new destiny, a new destination. Um, vacation, for some of you, might be something that you're looking into uh, this month. Because you feel so trapped and need a bit of a break. Um, let's see what else for pile number three. We also have the Seven of Cups, yes, and the Eight of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, I feel like it definitely has to do with work situation. Um, not being happy in, at work, not sure if this is something that you want to continue with work. Like just needing a little bit of a breather, of a break, of figuring out what it is that you want with that seven of cups as well it's like having a lot of options what do i want what do i choices but also fantasies still having desires that are not met uh that you want to kind of that are still there uh, as well and the eight of ones more so like transitioning moving like because to me this is the same room almost looks like the same room the same desk where like first you know they're trapped they're thinking like what do i want like researching what do i want to do do i want to change something and then eight of ones there's just gonna be like this click and then you just like let's just go let's just like go outside of the window just chase those dreams those boats those opportunities that are here um trying something um with that three of pentacles i feel like there might be someone or like a community you can talk to or have those conversations with where it's like feedback as well a little bit business wise where you can logical have that back and forward uh with this these people i see like multiple people it can also be a family uh that you can have those talks with but really go like you know i'm missing something i'm not really sure what it is i have been thinking doing this this or this but i'm not sure how that fit in how i would do that like i just want to like be listened to not that it give necessarily give advice but for you to you know be able to talk yourself out of that stuck feeling a little bit um and i feel like september is gonna be that um possibility of looking back uh who were you as a child what do, did you like to do as a child as well as where are you now in your life and what are still the things that you might wanted to give a shot as a child but couldn't 
um, you know, things that you want to do realistically. Like if you wanted to be, I don't know, a, f a, a soccer player when you were younger and now you're like 50 or something. Like realistically wise, you will not be a top soccer player. But there are things you can do. Have like a realistic look at them where you can, I don't know, join a friend football club or something like that. You know, where you can still have that desire dream met in the future it might seem very childish or not realistic or you know uh, not what adults should do but i feel like it will really help you with like your bigger happiness and getting like out of that stuck energy because uh, with that four of pentacles as well i feel like you are a bit closed off like not showing your true self to the outside and that is also very stressful i feel like a need maybe for some of you i feel like there might be where you're running against a burnout with this as well um with work and everything responsibilities and stuff like that um and yeah let me take a look at the oracles for you on this because it is a full moon so i wanted to use the the moon oracle so for pile number three, what can they expect in the month of September? Your commitment is being tested. Again, I feel like the choices that you made is getting tested. The path that you took, uh, where you are at, it is being tested. It is being challenged. Is this still something that I want to achieve? Yes or no? What do you need to release? Again, what do you need to let go? Like, like test it. Is it still serving you? Are you be still happy with how your life is going? Or are there things that you need to let go of? Are there dreams that you would like to pursue? Uh, hobbies that you would like to dive into? It's time to release negativity. Again, what do you need to le like release? There is negativity in your life that is not... And I feel like that's what's keeping you trapped. And I honestly feel that it is something that you already knew is going on but maybe you were a bit closed off to idea to the idea scared of actually pursuing that idea as well and we also have step out of your comfort zone again this is your comfort zone this is the sword you like to wield or you're comfortable with to wield and the idea of going back in your childhood and take a look at like who were you as a child what did you like to do what changed? Why did you not do that? Are there things that you can imply the things that you, the child side of you wanted to do uh, into the life that you're having right now? I think that could be a very good exercise for you as well to write down, to like reminisce on your childhood as well. I feel like with that three of pentacles and the ten here that there might be like for some of you i feel like the need to reach out to your childhood friends or some of you are still friends with your childhood friends um but i honestly feel that your ch your friend group can be a big help here um where you i don't know go pottery baking with a friend or with a group group of friends or have like a grown up sleepover um where you know, instead of con candy and cartoons, you watch like, I don't know, just like any movies that you're interested in or play games or, you know, and then sleep on the couch uh, or, you know, <laughs> take painkillers in the morning because your back's hurting from sleeping on the couch. <laughs> but like something like fun like that, where your inner child will have that satisfaction as well, because I feel like that will definitely bring in not just making like making new memories for the rest of your life uh as a child because i feel like when you give your inner child that freedom that will that inner child will make the best memories of your life like if you think back on all the fun things like the good memories that you have nine out of ten memories are because you gave into that inner child and you know let them have the rain uh, of acting silly or you know enjoying life and i feel like you might have locked your inner child for a bit too long where now it's feeling trapped not having a clue on how to 
unleash that inner child that inner goofiness uh, and fully indulge not just like show glimpse of that side but fully indulge uh, in that feeling um so let me take a look some final messages for pile number three on the month of september what can you expect what can pile number three expect from the month of september what is coming in honestly with this i feel like maybe i should organize a friend a sleepover or something uh because this just sounds fun let's see we have integration and union yes i feel like your inner child hasn't integrated fully into your uh adult self as well having that union with your inner child as well it can be friends as well again we have toxicity bound and patterns again it can be childhood um uh, Trauma that is playing a role, family, home, commitment, we have regret, repression, and we have rebirth and winter. So yeah, I feel like this month will definitely be like a rebirth of your inner child, letting that go of creativity, of creating moments where you can indulge in just being a kid, not having to worry. Uh, maybe this also is helpful helping you deal with toxicity and stuff like that um for others of you i feel like this is a relationship um getting back that spunk in your relationship uh, in your connection with someone we also have contracts career commitment until depth tear us apart um so yeah maybe you have been very career oriented focused um not focused as much on family, on your home, on your partner. Um, feel like that pressure and then don't have the time, the energy and the space to, you know, uh, give your energy to anything else than that. We also have the sun, strength and empowerment and healing inner child. What did I say? Your inner child needs a bit of healing, needs to be let go. Uh, and transformation at the bottom with that. So I this month will definitely bring in that change. Um, the realization of, okay, where I'm at, am I happy? Is this the road? This is the road that I chose, but is it still the road that I want to be at? Do I want to make changes? Um, and I feel like this connection with your inner child is very, very important. So definitely um, indulge in it so i feel a lot of different energies where for like i said some of it's relationships some it's just with self some of it is with career with family um but i feel like the base of all of it of all of you is your inner child connection with your uh own inner child with your own past self and memories so i want to close this off with some letters i don't know why i want to close off with letters but i felt it i needed it for pile number one i did it for pile number two and i really wanted to do it for you guys pile three as well um normally i just do this for like love readings where it's like initials or places that reminds you of the person or you know how that resonates uh i'm not sure how this will resonate for you um but we're just going to see, you know, what comes out. Um, I will try to, like, make some connections or names or places. Um, but I feel like it will just resonate for you how in the way that it does. So let's just take a look for pile number three for the month of September. Pile number three, the month of September. Pile number three. That's it. Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. We have the E. We have the P. We have the X. We have the Q. We have the V. We have the T. And we have the Y. So for some of you, I feel like this is also some things for like work related as well. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing Peter, Xavier, uh, I don't know, questions come to mind as well. Text, 
I see a yes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna gonna leave it like that. So um, let me know how the letters resonate for you. You tell me how this <laughs> resonates. Um, and yeah, I am going to leave it here. So I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonates. Please let me know. I know there are a lot of different situations. Um, let me know how this resonates for you. Because I would love to read about it. Uh, you don't have to go in detail. Just, you know, how it resonates. Because um, that's like, I like reading about that as well. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. So you can let YouTube know, you know, what your likes are as well. Um, but yeah, I hope it resonates. I hope it was helpful. Um, let me know if there is any question that you have in mind that you would like to see me ask. And I will take a look on how I can fit that into a general reading for you guys. Um, in the meantime, just have a wonderful kick-ass month of September. I believe in you. I trust you. You got this. Uh, already proud of uh, what you have accomplished already and where you're going. Um so yeah, go kick ass. In the meantime, I just hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And hopefully I will talk to you again in the next reading.